All right, everybody, we're here at Klein's Run, chasing 900. Let's get to it. Spin it. Hey DMD family, welcome back to another Discs MD video. Bunky here, and it's been a minute since I've done a Chasing 900. Uh, I get a little ADD when it comes to YouTube. I'm pretty convicted when I go down and visit Josh. They have all their videos up on a whiteboard and scheduled, and I, I don't do that. Maybe I should start, but I haven't done one of these in a while, and I really want to get back to it. Buddy of mine, Corey, uh, oh. he's part of the Power Disc Golf Academy, uh, texted this morning and said, hey, anybody playing? And I was going to do this, so I invited him out, and he said yes, so thanks for being on the channel, Corey. Thanks for letting me come along. Yeah, so we're going to talk a little bit about the Academy, and I'm going to try to hit 900, uh, and Corey's going to play along with me. So, what's your best score here? Do you know? I'd have to look, but it was last year's North Guides Championship. Okay. okay. So, I'm not sure. Okay, we'll look that up, and he'll try to beat that. So, yep. Corey's going to try to beat his best score, and I'm going to try to hit 900, which I think from that, well, no, not from that tournament, they had down by the river like three or four weeks ago, two over on the shorts. We're going to play shorts. Okay. Two over on the shorts uh, is 904 rated. So that's my mark, two over, which is like like a 56, I think, or 58. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll get that straightened out as we go. Let's get on to hole one. All right, so we're here at hole one. Uh, Corey's best is 11 over, so that's what he's chasing. I'm chasing 900, uh, which is two over. This first hole is 256 feet, way uphill, straight ahead. Um, not not a real low ceiling, but a lower ceiling. I'm going to throw my growler here, and I know what you're thinking. It's a 12 speed. I'm throwing it at a 256 hole. Look, leave your, uh, leave your pride at the door when it comes to throwing discs. Whatever it takes to get there, that's what you throw. Don't, don't worry about what anybody else is throwing. It takes my growler to get up there for me, so that's what I throw. So, growler first. We're going to throw two off the top. I'll play my first one just because I'm doing chasing 900. And I want this to be as much like tournament as possible. So 256, let's get started. Yeah, and that's really short. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna throw my Lariat, the second one. I'm gonna be playing my Growler, but I'll throw this one just in case, just, just because. It's a little better, but still really short and right. Okay. I'm going to be throwing my stag, stag. chameleon. All right. Yeah, that's, this hill is deceiving. This Second shot, I'll be throwing my D6 air. All right. Is that a prodigy? Oh, yeah, that's that high. ceiling. Yeah. Yep, not real low, but low enough, man. Gets in your head. <laughs> he still has about 180 out or so. On the forehand at it. All right, he's got a putt. He's got a putt there. So I'm still about 110 out, 120 out maybe. So just get it up there. Look, we're way. Don't want to set it on edge here. It'll roll all the way down to the road and over on the hole 18. So. <laughs> All right, that should be good for the par. Still got a tester here, uphill. Go. Oh, I, I tell you what, that uphill. That okay, guys, look, I got to show you the world's most adorable disc golf bag. Hold on, you got your mini? I did. It's somewhere. He's got so many pockets. <laughs> we'll get it done. Okay. Oh, there, there it is. He's got it. Yeah, yeah, that's the world's most adorable <laughs> disc golf bag. Uh, I love it. I, I love the hair sticking out up top too on that disc. That's fantastic. All right, we're gonna POV this real quick, and he's got a tap in there, and we'll move on to hole two. Let's go. All right, hole number two is 236 feet uh, over this rise. It's blind. You want to get between these. I want to get between these two trees. There's a high spike four hyzer forehand or backhand right hand backhand on the right side of this tree but at the basket it falls off really big and you can roll 
200 feet or more down to that parking lot. So uh, I try to flat shot just through the middle. I play for par on this one for sure. And sometimes I get lucky. I think I've only got uh, birdied this once. <laughs> get down, get down, get down. Okay, that's bad. Okay, that's not a good shot. <laughs> Hit something. Yeah, he's down there with me. So hopefully that doesn't roll. Let's go find him. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. He rolled all the way down and the hole is right there. So we came in from over there. He hit probably right around where I'm standing and rolled down there. Yeah, that's a good up. I mean, that's way uphill, so that's a, that's, that's a great approach. Yeah, this, this hill is, I, that pole is probably still like 20 feet over my head. It's really deceiving. Get up. Okay, that should be good for the par. Let's go get it. Not gonna be making uphill putts all day. Yeah, <laughs> I, so, some of these holes, man, I mean, he's still below that pin. His head's still below that pin, or right even with the bottom of that pin. It is so uphill. Get in. Oh, that was so close. Oh, no. Oh, no. And that's the death of hole two. Yeah. Oh, that's a good run. That's a great run. Such a steep grade Whoo! barely right side <laughs> we'll tap Corey in for the double here all right let's go into hole three all right let's talk some power disc golf academy so Corey when, when did you join the academy uh December of 22 right when they first announced it coming out I uh, thought it was a neat idea so I don't have to keep searching through YouTube looking for videos on yeah. this and that and having five different people yeah. tell you how to do one thing. Yeah. This so way you have one one coach for each aspect of the game. Yeah. Yeah. So you're an OG. So you're 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 with me. Yep. So yeah. Um and that's it. That's the that's the beauty of the academy is it's all in one spot. So I have asked, people ask me all the time, is it worth the money to get into the academy what say you oh yes okay yes yeah, yeah. Uh, going back through looking at my scores before the academy started playing in the late 20 okay uh through till now i can see a great improvement in my scores okay are all they right. perfect no but getting there's there. plenty of room for improvement. yeah getting there all right we'll talk a little bit more as we go along let's let's get the whole three another so the first the first three holes on this course are massive elevation changes and we have a busy road. Uh, so this is 220 feet. They don't have the distance up and downhill, but it is, <laughs> it, it, it has to be like 70 feet uphill. So anyway, throw my Warbird here, just something hook up around the corner. I haven't been doing my practicing. All right, let's get it. <sighs> Low, but up there. Skip. That'll be good. That's a long putt. Get through. Oh, dirty, dirty, dirty branch. That was looking good. He's got a line here. Forehand to get a savior. Oh, <laughs> that's that's a fitting title for a disc here. Oh, too wobbly. That's all right. That's all right. You're up there. That's a long putt. You have a look. All right. I don't know, say about a 50 foot. Ah. All right. Circle's edge. Maybe you're outside. Get down. Oh, <laughs> online. Online. Great putt. You know the draw. This is one of the drawbacks to running putts. You just leave yourself with 15 or 20 foot comebackers. 
All right, that's the par. We'll get Corey tapping in, and then we'll move on to four. This is a new short basket. Shorts used to be up through this hill right here. It was terrible. So they put in a new basket over there. I think this one is like 280. Uh, they don't have the new distance on the board yet. I think it's like two, 260 to 280. So I'm going to throw my walker. Heiser line up to the left here for the lefties. Righties, it's either a Heiser a forehand, a right-hand Heiser forehand, or straight up the middle. Straight up the middle has a really no, low ceiling, so I like to go up the left side here. Practice. <clears throat> Skip. That should probably be circles edge-ish. Feel like you're in a boxing ring when you get up on this <laughs> tee. What what lines he taking? Up the middle? Yeah, I'm gonna go up the middle. All right. More towards the tree on the right, and hopefully it cuts back in. All right. It's all right. Early release. You'll be okay. You have a straight yep. line in from over there. Yep. Yeah. This. I mean, this isn't bad at all. If he. If he doesn't early release, he had a good distance on it, so. But he's got a straight shot up there. I'm gonna try a little. Little stepper. Little step, step approach. Get down. Skip up. All right. Nope. Got a putt for there. Every, every time you go to throw, I have to sneeze. It's crazy. <laughs> the pollen's getting me today. <laughs> All right, about 25 footer, I guess. Oh, good run. Stop. That's not nice. So Ray's basket's get in my head. Like, he had perfect line, but thought he had to get it up in the air too much. Now he's in a precarious predicament. All right. No! I've got nothing because of that tree right in my way. All right, straddle out wide. Okay. There we go. Woo! That held. All right. We go on to hole five. 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 Yep. All right. So let's do it again. We have a long walk. This is a terrible walk. This is a terrible. Between walk. holes. It's so hard. So uphill. All right. So if you had to say the the thing that you've improved most with the academy, what would it be? Uh, I know it doesn't show it today, but distance has been one of my biggest improvements. Yep. Uh, when I first started, I was happy if I could get 100 feet out in front of me. <laughs> now I'm closer to 200 if I get everything lined up correctly. Okay. All right, all right. But yeah, that's, that's good. the biggest improvement. Good. Yeah, I, I think my approach is, at, at the beginning, I would have said my putting, for sure. But I think now, the attention to detail from Simon and from Paul, I think my approaches have been much more accurate, much more consistent. So yeah. Oh yeah. It's uh, they got a lot of good stuff on the academy. So if you're not part of the academy, go become a member. I think of all the courses I play, the walk from shorts four to the tee box of five is the worst. It's so long and uphill. Like Muddy Run, you have some uphill walks, but this is long and uphill. So, And then you keep going uphill to the basket on five. Uh, 240 feet, pretty uphill still. I do a turnover. My forehand's just not good enough, I don't think, to get it there. So I'm going to do a turnover with my lariat. See if we can get up there, turn it over enough. Fighting the hill on the turnover, though. <sighs> Miss it. All right, that's just gonna be a long putt. Okay. Not bad. My drives are all high today. I haven't done this in a while, so. All right, well, that looks like MVP. Is that MVP? Nope, it is. Oh. That weird 
Japanese company. Oh, wow. Twin Swords. What is that? Let me see. Twin Swords. Hmm. Okay. It's what a... Uh, is it gyro or is it just... Is it no, just, it is an overmold. It's an overmold. Oh, yep. okay. okay. Uh, very comparable to a time lapse. Oh, okay. As far as flight and stability. Right. Nice. Okay. Well, let's see it. I'm going to go forehand and... Try to bend it around. Tree. Got yep. you. Oh, that was nice. Corey, serious. See, that's why I picked it over okay, the time. Okay, so left. I have to tell you, from somebody who's played with you a little bit, your forehand is definitely a thousand times better now than it used to be. Oh, yes. Yes, <laughs> so, it is. So, I just, from, from experiential knowledge of your game, that was the best forehand that you've ever thrown that I've seen. Yeah. No. Yep. That, good job. <laughs> oh, we got to his disc first, but I don't know if you're okay, right I'm, I'm just inside. You're a little bit you. further. Yep. Yeah, just inside you. Not much. That's about out, isn't it? Oh, you're out for sure. Yeah, that wind breeze is picking up. Get down. <gasps> good line. Almost. Almost. Good line, just short. <laughs> All right, about 27 footer here. All right. Good one. Made a, made a, Corey tap in for par there. First par of the day. Yay. Yeah. Hey, that you got to start somewhere. All right. On the hole seven, six, six, six. Number, hole number six, we're at 275. Uh, there's a forehand, there's a forehand line for me and straight up the middle. There is a narrow gap to the left for a hyzer. I'm going to take my chance and play it. Uh, OB is road on the road and over. Um, I'm going to throw my Warbird and just hope it comes back. Let's see what happens. <sighs> nope. Bye-bye. Yep. OB. Okay. That's short. Now you got me scared. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to go forehand, but no, not now. <laughs> that, yeah. I should have thrown something more overstable. That, that's, that thing goes too straight for me now. I think I'm going to throw my sassy with my James oh, Bond die. That is awesome die. Did you do that? Yep. Nice. Uh -oh. oh, that's out with you. Uh-oh. We went out about the oh. same spot. All right, let's go. All right, so I'm guessing we're about right here. <sighs> oh, this is, <laughs> this is scary because I got to put it back over OB. Hopefully we can get up and down for the bogey here. Nope. Wow. Okay. All right, here we are in hole number seven, 295 feet. Whether, no, 224 to the short. Oh. 224. 224. Oh, wow. so the short's now over there. Did they put a new, oh, they, they put it over there. They put a new basket in. What? Okay. okay. That changes it. Yeah, it does change it. Okay, so if you've ever been to Klein's Run, they now have a short basket for seven, and it's. Oh, that is ugly. That is really ugly. It is right there. Okay. All right. Well. I wonder if it's a new disc. I don't know. I didn't look that up. Okay. Okay, this opens it up. You could go with a backhand for your lefties. Yep. Yeah. Cut this way. Right handers, you might want to do a forehand. Yeah. Um, if yeah. not, you can try to do a backhand for the righties in these gap here between the trees, but that has to be really low yeah. ceiling. Yeah. And yeah, that's a narrow gap. So I think I'm going to go with the forehand. All right. Flex forehand. Oh, did he get around? He did. All right. I we'll still got it. a long way to go, but that's it for there. All right. All right. So we're just going to play a high hyzer to the left here. Let it crash back to the right. See what happens. That's short, but got a putt. Let's go. 
All right. A little bit, a little bit of a this scary putt. I'm gonna play it safe. I'm just gonna slide it up there. Yeah, get take the, the easy par. Yep, good, good, good idea. I see it here. Yeah, and if I miss this and roll, <sighs> no guts. All right, all right, we'll take it. Corey was going to do the POV putt, but he did. He thought better of it. All right, move on to eight. eight. Hole eight. All right, par eight. So let's just address the elephant in the room. Yes, I took it eight two holes ago. I was at two under. It's not exciting content if I just destroy my goal. So I need to make it interesting. I, it's for I did that for you. <laughs> I'm, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, anyway. So that, that birdie was good for me, got me back to two over. So now I got to play clean from here to the end. Uh, 375 feet straight ahead. The shorts on this course, uh, they're t it's tough to score on this course on shorts. They're tough par threes. So this is a 375 foot par three straight ahead. Gonna throw my warbird. <sighs> Get around. Did I get through? I think so. Nice. Yeah, good line. Yeah, you'll like that over there. Yep. It opens it up nice. Good shot. Nice little hyzer line up there. Like I said, this is a 375 par three. And it's pretty flat. I mean, you walk downhill and then uphill, but it's not very downhill. I mean, reachable, but tough. Okay. My backhands on approaches have been really off lately. My forehands have been better, so. All right. I would say so. Get up there. Roll, stop, okay. You have a putt. So I've been meaning to ask you, so you've been on my channel before. Yes. You've been on my channel before, but it was with a group of every, it was, it was with the power of disc golf academy group with ross and john and yep ross, a bunch john. of us yep so this is the first time you've ever been on my channel solo with, just with me yes so how does it affect how you play does it a little bit the first couple holes i will admit okay but now getting getting, yep. getting comfortable yep getting comfortable okay good all this 70 70 or 80 out 70 between 70 and 80 out That's pretty accurate. <laughs> Go. Nice putt. Great par. Great par. All right, we're going to POV this one. Couple pars. Let's move on to uh, hole nine. Last hole of this video. Whoa, that's up close and personal. Hey, they use prodigy baskets here. All right, last hole of this video. Uh, hole nine, 363 feet. I, we just figured, I had my keys in my pocket, so I've been off balance this whole time. Anyway, uh, par three, 600, 300, 600, 363 <laughs> feet with this branch right in our filming yeah. way. Look, it's blowing to get in front of you. It's crazy. <laughs> Uh, way downhill and to the right. So I'm going to throw my Mad Cat, just throw it out left. Hopefully it gets by those two guardian trees and gets down there. <sighs> nope. Too right. That's all right. Just go. Oh. Hey, that actually that may have helped me. That work. <laughs> Not all trees are bad. Nice little tree direction. I smell forehand coming. Yeah. Yeah. Because that road is OB. Sorry, didn't mean to say it. Egg on it. Get down. Get down. Well, if that cut rolls, that might you be should right. be good. That might be good. Yeah. Yeah, you got some good ground action here. He's got a sweet little forehand approach. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Save you again. Nice. Since it's shorter. Get up, 
Get up. That was a good line. Uh, low, too low. much wobble. Yeah. Keep. All right. Circle's edge here. Yes. Good one. I'll take it. Putt is on today. I'm telling you. Go. Oh, oh. <laughs> who needs chains? <laughs> who needs chains? Nice job. Good putt. All right. Well, there you have it. The front nine here at Klein's Run done. So thanks to Corey for coming out. We're going to do the back nine. You'll see that right the day after this one releases. I, I release them back to back. So I am one over for the front. Corey is six, six over, over for the front. So we're both on track to do what we need to do to get this done. Thanks for coming and playing with me, Corey. Thanks, sure, for, okay. thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, we'll see you on the back nine. Until next time, enjoy the journey. Here's your verse of the day.